Hey boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm shooting this video right now because I was going to just knock out this uh, little issue that I have and then go about my business. However, I thought that maybe some of you guys would want to see this. So, I believe the last video that you guys saw on my YouTube channel was of this Greenworks 1.2 GPM 1500 PSI pressure washer. Let me show you that. This pressure washer um, is the newest in my personal arsenal. It's a very small compact unit, works very well. Um, I don't know anything about the durability or the longevity of this thing, but I do know that my initial uh, impressions when I used it the other day for the first time were that it is awesome, but only when paired with the Uberflex 50-foot hose uh, and a different gun with the uh, M22 adapters, as you can see on front and back. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to shorten that monstrosity of a power cord. For some reason, the brilliant freaking geniuses over at whatever company you pick, basically all of the little inexpensive electric pressure washers have way too much power cord and not enough hose. I'm sure it's a cost thing, but it doesn't do anybody any favors having this this crazy long power cord. So I shorten them down to about six feet. So um, I'm gonna shorten it to about this. So basically what I do is I hold it up and I do it about six inches above the top of my head, which is about six feet, because I'm five foot six. And so what we're gonna do, is I'm going to just take my cutters and I'm going to cut. Obviously you want to make sure that this is not plugged into your wall. Uh, as you can see, mine's not. So now we're left with a six foot section. I got to remove this little deal I'm working on because I got I don't want you to see that. The next video is going to be for that. So, um, I got this job here. I cut it to about six foot. And so here we are. So basically I need to cut that back. But before I do that, um, all I did with this other end, this GFCI, is I took these four screws out. That's it. Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, those four screws come out of the back of this cap that literally just goes right there. So I took those four screws out, so now I've got the back open where I can get to the uh, wires, the wire connections. So, it's going to be kind of hard with one hand, but we can manage. So, I'm going to undo these, just like that. Then I'm going to undo... This little deal right here, which is holding all that in place. And so you just want to remember which goes to which. So that came off. And so now this will come off and that will come out. So the gold is the, uh, the ground there. So that's that. I'm actually going to take this piece off there I will put it on this piece just like so all right so now that I was able to use two hands I could get everything done properly and so I've already cut you saw me cut the six foot of length away from the pressure washer, um, I cut back the outside of uh, the wire casing right here, expose the wires, I use my uh, wire strippers to strip the ends of the wires, then I put them right back how they came. So the black was the gold and the white is the silver there. Um, I put the end of 
this GFCI back on so it looks like it came this way. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap on and we'll be right back. All right, and just like that, we now have a six foot power cord so that we can not have to flop all this extra junk around everywhere. Um, that's just how I like it. You know, I've, I've done it to every one of my electric pressure washers. This one here is done the same way. Um, I use the 50 foot Uber flex hoses uh, for my pressure washers, my electric ones anyway, and they're fantastic. So this video was just about showing you how you can shorten your power cord. You don't need any extra uh, parts or anything like that. You literally just cut the wire and mount it to the end after taking the end off the other end. So that's it, nothing fancy. Uh, it looks like it came like this uh, and it should work fine because I literally hooked it up exactly how it came apart. I didn't break anything in the process. So that's it. That is how you basically remove the bulk of the excess, extra, extra, extra excess wiring from your electric Greenworks pressure washer. And that uh, pressure washer is awesome. It works really well for car detailing, uh, not so much for cleaning concrete or whatever, but for auto detailing, this one is awesome. Itty bitty little thing. Look at the uh, size compared to my Karcher Cube, which 1.2 GPM, it says 1700 PSI. I don't know that to be the case. In fact, this seems a little bit higher pressure than that. But just the form factor alone, if you're looking, you know, I'm not a fan of, of pulling around a trailer or having a huge truck. Yes, I do drive that big ass monstrosity of a van. However, um, most of the time I just put uh, just a few things in the back and that's all I need. I'll do another updated video on what I carry, but as far as this goes, very easy to do. You can do it yourself, not complicated, and it saves a bunch of headache dealing with that mess. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. We talk about all this kind of stuff, all the products and what I'm doing basically. And if you wanna get involved in all of the promotions and the sales that I do just for that group, which are pretty significant, you should get in there and learn about all this stuff and you can be a part of great discounts on my products, learning things that I'm teaching the people in there, Sometimes they teach me a thing or two. So um, let's get you in there. Let's get you learning about detailing and how to be the most effective, most economical and thrifty as far as output and get more back in return. And that's what we're looking to do here is work smarter, not harder. That's where we're at. So thanks so much for listening to me babble and watching this short little clip. Have a great day, guys.